And from pacemakers for the brain, let's talk about artificial hearts. You heard that right. Australian scientists are developing a long-term artificial heart. Let me say that again. A long-term artificial heart. In fact, the federal government has announced a grant of $50 million towards the project. What do we know so far about it? How exactly will these artificial hearts help and work? Let's get to the details. It's being called an off-the-shelf alternative to organ donation. What a medical miracle, right? Let me just give you a sense of why this is extremely significant. The unfortunate reality is many patients with advanced heart failure end up dying while waiting for a heart transplant. The wait becomes deadly. But what if one does not have to wait? What if the heart is available off the shelf? Basically, the artificial heart will be a long-term alternative to heart transplants. How will it work? Now, we all know that hearts work by beating blood around the body. This artificial heart will send the blood around by using magnetic levitation technology. Basically, a bunch of pipes are used to replicate the heart and the cardiovascular system. And so far, by the way, the good news is that the testing has shown tremendous results. According to reports, the Australian federal government will provide $50 million in funding to support the development of these artificial hearts and other cardiac implants. Naturally, the hope is that the device will be an off-the-shelf, long-term alternative to heart transplants. That the research will ensure more people get, a get access to life-saving technology and eventually, perhaps, replace the need for donor hearts altogether. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.